Hey guys, what's up? Tim here, bringing you a really quick After Effects tutorial on um, getting Cinema 4D 3D text into After Effects and making something like this. Uh, it's just going to be really quick. Um, program needed is uh, Cinema 4D. Um, so we're going to open up Cinema 4D, and I have this text right here. And actually, I'm going to take this glow off. But um, I pretty much have this text right here that I created, and I positioned my camera kind of where I want the text to what I want the text to look like. So if I want it over here, you know, you can position it wherever you want. But um, basically I just went to uh, MoGraph, no text, and I typed in my text that I wanted right in here. Into the basic and everything. And, uh, or sorry, object. Typed uh, imagine, I increased the depth, um, and I set, I made a cap, so I set the fillet cap on both the start and the end and made the steps and radius 3 on both. And I just kind of positioned my camera how I want it. Now the most important step to doing this is um, the, the render settings. So if you click right here and go into the render, set, render, render settings, my bad, and you go into the output, um, I use the preset right here for um, 720p. 29 frame, 29.97 frames per second, um, and make sure the frame range is on current frame, so it only renders this one frame. Under the save, um, make sure sa save is checked. Um, just choose wherever you want to save it, and make sure the file format is at PNG. This is important. Make sure it's at PNG, and also this is also very important. This is what makes the difference. Um, make sure alpha channel is checked right here. This will make sure that um, the program renders everything, um, the, the letters, but it doesn't render the background. It only renders what you've created, this text. And under the multipass, you can leave that alone, anti-aliasing. Um, if you're working with reflections, you can set it to best. If not, just keep it at geometry, filter, still image, um, options, just leave those alone. And I added just an ambient occlusion through the effects, and ambient occlusion should be at the top right here and that just makes it look a little bit better and you close out of this and you hit this render button right here and it will render but I'm not going to do that because I have that on my desktop right here now once it renders out you need to open up After Effects and go to file import file and import your PNG file once it's imported you just drag it on in here and you can you have your your text layer this is my text layer right here you can move it and I just quickly duplicated it and made this nice reflection just to show you guys but that's pretty much it it's just a really quick tutorial on bringing in this 3d text cinema 4d you can also do this to photoshop and all the other adobe programs um since it's a, a png file it works really well all right guys so stay tuned for more videos and see you later